Hey everybody, I want to show you some of my favorite pictures. There's me, that big little bump. My dad used to say, when my mom came into the room when she was pregnant, the first five minutes were her belly. <laughs> my dad always talks about how he loves my mom's pregnancies. There's cute little me, the only time they ever kissed me. It's meaningful because it's the only time they ever kissed me. My parents both love me. <laughs> There's cute little me. And this is meaningful just because I'm chilling with my older siblings. I love that blanket. My parents hid it from me because it made me suck my thumb until I was like eight. This is a really cute one. And we're all sleeping together in the car. I hated being in a booster seat. But at least Danny let me sleep on her. It's meaningful because, I don't know, I'm with my sisters just sleeping and I like sleeping. <laughs> This is meaningful because Christmas, need I say more? Me and a friend from Erie, um, Megan, we met in kindergarten at a cross country race. It's meaningful because, I don't know, we're together having fun, even though I was super nervous that day. In a moment, I want to show you a picture that is even more personal, more meaningful, that amazingly includes you and me. Before I do though, let me tell you a story. Think about the worst thing anyone has ever done to you. Maybe something they said, something that made you cry, something that even now, when you think about it, makes you really, really sad. Now, imagine that multiplied a million, billion, gazillion times. All the things anyone has ever said or done that has hurt someone, ever. And you have a sense of what Jesus feels. The suffering he endured. Yeah, I can't imagine that. Nelly! Now think about how we react when someone does the slightest thing to us. We fight back or bury it deep inside or run and hide. But that's not what Jesus did. He accepted it, embraced it, everything that you and I might be forgiven, that we might be healed, that the gates of heaven might be opened again, that we might be restored to relationship with him. So wrap all this up and it's like a river, a rapids of mercy. And that's what this picture is all about. It's about God's great mercy poured out for you and me right now to flood our souls and carry away all the junk, to replace it with his love. In this book, Father Michael tells us the story of how in 1931, Jesus appeared to this Polish nun named Sister Faustina. He said, paint an image according to the pattern that you see with the signature, Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus further said, I promise that the soul that will venerate this image will not perish. At the request of her spiritual director, Sister Faustina asked the Lord about the meaning of the rays in the image. She heard these words in reply. The two rays denote blood and water. The pale ray stands for the water, which makes souls righteous. The red ray stands for the blood, which is the life of souls. These two rays issued forth from the depths of my tender mercy. He said to her, on Divine Mercy Sunday, the very depths of my tender mercy are open. I pour out a whole ocean of graces upon those souls who approach the fount of my mercy. On that day, all the divine floodgates through which graces flow are opened. Jesus further told Sister Faustina that the soul that will go to confession and receive Holy Communion shall obtain complete forgiveness of sins and punishment. That's huge, bigger than my mom's belly in the picture. So this is our picture of God's love for you and me. Right now, he wants to pour forth his mercy into our hearts so much that we become living, breathing icons of his mercy to the world around us. So, go to confession. Don't hold back. Lay it all out there so you can receive his mercy. 
and we'll meet you this Sunday in Holy Mass and know how truly and deeply God loves you.